don't know if you know what Slug Street Scrappers is, but uh, either it's a TV show that I made. Um, I got sidetracked. Like I, I was, while I was doing martial arts, I was doing stunts, like uh, action film stuff, choreography, fight stuff. I was doing stunt work in LA and stuff like that. So I had this other side of me that my martial arts followers didn't really know. Some of them did, mm-hmm. but it was like an action film, Jackie Chan type side where I'd make a bunch of fight scenes. I have a channel called Whirlwind Action where it's just mm-hmm. a bunch of fight scenes, right? So that was kind of like a side passion I had. So as I got back from Thailand, I remember seeing something my buddy made and it was just one of the coolest things I'd ever seen. And it just like shot this massive inspiration I don't know if you've ever been hit in the face with inspiration like a ton of bricks but it it just hit me I was like dude I want to make a web series that's kind of like the Street Fighter games I don't know if you ever heard of you know Street Fighter right oh yeah yeah Street Fighter 100% I used to yeah. like uh, I skipped school <laughs> just to go 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 play uh go play Street Fighter in the arcades you know back in the day when Arcades were only like 25 cents. It was a quarter. And then you would line up your quarters because everyone was like waiting to beat the dude, you know, the, the guy who like, because the winner stays. And then everyone was challenging him. Yeah, so a big Street Fighter fan, big time. Yeah, man. So I was too, it was massive. I loved uh, uh, fighting games and beat em ups growing up. And I was starting to get a little bit older at that age where nostalgia starts to creep in mm-hmm. any, anytime you see stuff. So I, I had full intention to just keep going back to Tiger and fighting and fighting and fighting in the U.S., but as soon as I got back, after I started feeling better, I saw that video and it inspired me. And I was like, dude, I want to make a martial arts action type web series, but like similar to Street Fighter and Final Fight and Streets of Rage. Um, and I was just like super inspired to do it. So I was just like, you know what, I'm going to take a break from fighting and I'm going to get this done. And uh, it's going to be awesome because, you know, I did have this other side where I was passionate about like Jackie Chan stuff, Mm -hmm. Van Damme stuff. And I made my little fight scenes and I I won some awards for my early stuff at like film festivals and stuff. So yeah, I just got a fire lit under my ass to, to make this series. So I just started like producing it and we did the first episode and it was super popular. And I was like, dude, I didn't expect it to be this popular. And then, you know, I was like, all right, I got to ride the momentum. So I was like, push fighting away to the side again, and let's do another episode. And then that one did even better. And then, okay, well, now I got to do another one, another one, another one. Next thing you know, like, I'm dedicating like three to four years producing this series. And uh, I'm no longer in fighting. I'm in shape, but I'm not in fighting shape anymore. And like, my connections have started to sort of dried up and and my focus is still on the action stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, I mean, that's the same time I did that fight scene with Shane. I don't know if you saw that fight scene. Well, I, I saw you, uh, I saw you beat up Shane in a couple of videos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the action thing or the, are we no, 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 no. We're like, you guys are, wait, there was, there was this one where like you guys were, it, it was obviously a choreography. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, then, that's what I'm about. yeah. Yeah. So there was that one in the ring. It was like a Muay Thai guy versus Taekwondo guy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. But, but what I'm talking about is when you're showing technique and you're just smashing into him with his kicks. And I'm like, holy shit, this, guy, this guy's beating the crap out of Shane, man. And, and, and I see Shane's reaction. He's like taking it. He's like, ah, oh, you know? And I'm like, yeah, that was kind of, that was kind of. <laughs> okay, okay. Here's the story. And I'm going to give away, I have to give away Shane's secret. So that way I don't get literally mobbed by the internet for beating up the nicest, most amazing yeah, you were smashing arts, into him. Yeah. Like I was watching that, and I'm like, I, I, I didn't know if it was like uh, you did it so that it would look more real. Was it agreed upon, or you were just, you know, I, I don't know. But I, I looked at those kicks, and I'm like, and, and the way it hit him, you know, he was blocking them, of course. But I'm like, that's gotta hurt, man. That's not like yeah. uh, I wasn't sure how, you know. So <laughs> okay, so what a lot of people don't know about Shane is Shane also has some background in stunt fighting. Okay. And stunt work. He has training in stunt work and stuff. Okay. And, and, uh, he, he did like, I think it was a world record for like the world's longest choreographed fight scene without a cut, without a, like without stopping, but yeah, he's, he has training in stunt work. So he knows how to take like 
hits in the safe spots, fast, full power hits in the safe spots. It still hurts, but it, the point is to make it look good for camera. Mm -hmm. And uh, me and Shane have good chemistry when it comes to uh, like doing technique demos because I naturally have a tendency to hold my techniques back a little bit too much and it looks crappy. Like mm. if we're just doing demo techniques in fight scenes, I'm, it's not as hard for me to hold back, especially if I trust the guy. Like that's why me and Shane's fight has like 22 million views is we were going at it, but we had the trust that we would block when we needed to and, and make the hits look as, as hard as they were coming. But, um, yeah, so Shane has that training, and a lot of times when me and Shane would be just doing demo techniques, I would be all, like, too – I would hold my kicks too slow or be too wussy with them. And he'd be like – he'd be like, hey, you know, go harder. Like, throw it harder. <laughs> and I, I'd be like, okay, okay. Be like, he's like, yeah, I'll block. Just just do it. You know, like, give it some more oomph. That's, that's another thing he said a lot. Hey, put some more oomph into it. Put some more okay okay so it was agreed <laughs> upon it wasn't like you just decided to smash it oh no 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 i wasn't no. sure about that i was like man i feel as though if it like, was somebody i didn't like uh -huh. then yeah but no no shane is like the golden boy like he's literally the way he is in his videos in real life he's like super nice super humble everybody loves him and they should because he's awesome um so he's hard to it's I, it would be hard for me to fight him in a fight because he's just so likable like, I, he's like, I don't want to hurt this guy, man. He's my friend. Like, <laughs> now let's go get a beer, you know? Is, no, but yeah. So I had that, that kind of bromance thing going on. So I would hold back my kicks too much in the demos and he would have to remind me like, Hey, go harder, kick harder. And then I knew it was because, yeah, he knows we both know it's going to look crappy if we don't put, you know, energy into the shot. So that's what I would do. So that's why when you see me and Shane doing demos, they look boom, because we both know we have that stunt fighting experience, you know, how to make stuff look good and get those views. But also that's what convinces people what you're teaching them is legit because they're literally legitly seeing it at like full speed. So yeah, they see I how it would look. Uh -huh. you know <laughs> yeah yeah because so, when yeah. i was watching that i was like oh man kwan's bullying shane man <laughs> <laughs> like kicking him in and just just so he could look good and, and you know like but uh, no you know, I no no, no. About that, but i was like hmm, okay now now it's uh no. now it all makes sense now it's it's uh you know it's not as bad anymore <laughs> no and shane has like excellent defense it is very hard to, to land anything on shane and then when he knows what the kick is coming, no, he's like, he put, if you'll see when I, in that video where we're doing the circle out techniques, where he tries to circle out and I throw a spin hook at, kick at his mm -hmm. head, you can see he puts his hand here as the target for me to hit like a kicking paddle and take one note. And then it, when he sees my foot come, he just moves his head out of the way and lets the foot hit the, the glove and then pushes it like that. And then he does a little extra body movement into the wall to make it look like extra it's sell it's called selling the hit and yeah because he he sells it really well you know why because when i watched that and i know exactly the video you're talking about that's when my reaction yeah. was like holy crap I, I looked at shane and i was like i felt as though he didn't see that coming and he was surprised that you were hitting him that hard you know but yeah, it was yeah. actually him selling the uh <laughs> you know the, the the kick and and yeah that's why i was like oh my god this guy's getting a beating on his own channel <laughs> Yeah. And, and, you know, we had that thing where we looked each other in the eyes and we're like, I'm like, all right, Shane, I'm going to go hard. You promise me you got this. And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cover he goes, up. He goes, <laughs> I got this. So okay. I'm just like, all right. And I still held back some, that was not a full power spin hook. That was like 70. You can see it too. Like as soon as my foot hit his thing, you could see me slow it down a little bit. And I'm just mm, like, okay. please tell me that was your hand, but you don't show that you're nervous because that wastes the shot. Like in stunt fighting, if mm -hmm. like an accident happens, the worst thing you can do is to stop in the middle of the take and go, are you okay? Because now that person just got hit in the face for nothing because you can't keep the take. Ah, uh, so that makes sense. Yeah. If you're doing choreography and you elbow your partner and then knock all his teeth out in the shot, you keep, you finish the shot. Keep you smashing. Finish the shot. <laughs> keep smashing. You finish the choreography the best you can. Okay. And until someone yells cut and then you say, oh crap, are you okay? Like, you know, you don't. You don't stop in the middle unless you feel extra in danger. But if you feel in danger, what you do is you back up. You don't, if you feel like you're going to get hit, you don't stop and go, oh, no, you back away from the danger because we're, 
in stunt fighting, you're throwing full speed, full power. You're just not hitting um, your opponent or you're hitting only in the safe places. You're hitting on their blocks. Mm -hmm. But because you have to make it look good. If you're doing like modern contact based choreography instead of stack hitting, which is older stuff, but, but yeah, anyway, so Shane's got the, he's got the skills to, to pull this stuff off. So in the future, when we do another collab, which I'm sure we probably will, you'll probably see the same intensity, mm -hmm. but just know Shane's all right. He's good to go. He, he knows his stuff and uh, he can do stunt falls and all that stuff too. So, and he's, he'd be a great dude to, you know, do fight choreography with too, if that's ever a thing you know an interest is he's just good at that so okay yeah sense. yeah I, I think that that's that's definitely something i didn't know about him you know so uh, yeah. but now that i know that it's uh i'm less you know worried about him you know eating shots yeah 